the European Commission proposed on Wednesday to set aside $550 million for member states so they can ramp up production of ammunition for Ukraine. Joining us now, Ambassador to the European Union to the United States, Ambassador Stavros Lambrinidis. So very good to have you on the show this morning. Mr. Ambassador, we'll did she get right it right here. again? Uh, she got it right the second time uh, in a row. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Very unbelievable. <laughs> Not that difficult. But as you man. said, if, you, if you're born called Brzezinski, you, That's you, true. you, 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 develop, a, you develop a way to, to uh, pronounce it. I'm just saying, talk about the importance of this initiative uh, that passed yesterday. Oh, it's huge. Look, we, we provided Ukraine with over $15 billion uh, of military aid up to now, but it mm -hmm. needs ammunition. Yeah. And neither the U.S. nor we in Europe have enough of it. So we have to produce it fast, and we have to deliver it to them fast. So we committed we're going to do this, a million rounds uh, in, in the next few months. And so we are ramping up production in Europe, and we're helping our member states buy it. Yeah, we've been talking a lot this morning about what's been happening on the Russian side. But at the same time, it's been a long, cold, brutal war full of atrocities, and everybody wants to see an end to it as soon as possible. It is huge what happened. But what does fast mean uh, in terms of ramping up production and actually getting the Ukrainian the munitions they need? Well, they are planning an offensive now and they did one before very effectively pushing back the Russians they're going to do this again so they need ammunition immediately and they're getting it they need uh, air defenses and they're getting them mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but this will not be over tomorrow I'm afraid right. Right. Uh, so long as Putin insists in trying to kill them and take over the country, so long as he keeps his troops in, they have to f keep fighting back. And so we have to be standing by them, supporting them, and that means much longer than just a few months, potentially. We all want peace here. Immediately can happen if Putin, who is the aggressor, takes his troops out. He doesn't want to do it. If he doesn't want to do it, I cannot imagine that the Ukrainians fighting for their freedom and their life will be lifting up their arms and saying, oh, boy, you know, we're getting tired now. Yeah. Take us over. And I cannot imagine that Americans and Europeans will be happy to allow that scenario to happen. Because if we do, Putin wins. Putin proves that we don't have the guts, we don't have the staying power, uh, that, uh, you know, all his rhetoric about the West, right? We are uh, corrupt. We are weak. And... If he wins, our capacity to project our power and our influence in the world, Americans and Europeans, for decades to come will be diminished dramatically. So he won't win. He can't win. And the reason is not just us helping Ukraine. It's because Ukrainians are fighting for their lives and they're fighting effectively. And that is something to be proud of.